Sorry about that. Actually, turn the camera off. Man, I didn't want to pay all the money, and I knew I had to pay bills. To do, you you know, can't afford to pay all this shit. Cause Kerry be like, I, I, I'm getting you out regardless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit. I don't even know how the hell anybody lives it out here. You can't. You gotta pay for everything. You gotta pay. Taxes is crazy. Everything's a tax. Especially like me, I get that 1090. Ooh, I get that 1099 <laughs> for him. Man, that shit is impossible to pay all this shit. You gotta pay right, taxes. Right. You gotta pay rent. You gotta pay. I mean, you ain't got to. Everything. I mean, if you want to, you can be homeless. You can, you can live without electricity and live without water. I guess. I can't do it. I got to wash my ass. Right. You know what I mean? I can't do it. But fuck, you can't. And then you gotta eat. The food costs more than anything. Actually, driving costs the most. Oh, you know, that's how they control people is with the roads. You know how in the Roman Empire, they conquered the earth through the use of their road system, right? And look at America. They control everything by the, through the road system. That's why Rome was so great. Yep. And you can't do nothing without these roads. That's why driving is so expensive. Man, you, the gas alone would kill you. Plus, first of all, you got to get a car. Thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to get a decent car. And then you got to get pay for the license. You gotta pay for insurance. Oh, guess what happens if you don't pay your insurance? Guess, you don't pay your insurance, guess what happens? Your license gets suspended, to get it reinstated costs $200, and now you gotta get an SR22 bond that you have to keep for three years straight. If you, and if you miss one payment, it starts all over for another that's, three that's, years. That's a high risk insurance. Yeah, that only the devil would, they'll give you that for not paying insurance. It says old saying, all roads lead to one. And fuck it, and people, people, get, I think this is some kind of great nation that would do that to people, man. The reason we missed our insurance payments is because we're fucking poor. We can't afford to pay that shit. Right. You fucking assholes. And they know this. And they know that. And that's why they're going to give you that $200 fine to make it even harder on you. Just like all these motherfuckers is in prison because they ain't had no fucking good lawyer, man. Yeah, you got to have a lawyer. Ain't the no lawyer. Jake ain't got no fucking good lawyer, man. Yep. You can't even. A lot of motherfuckers don't know you got to get a lawyer. Yeah. So you get a public defendant. Shit, sometimes a public defendant be better than the lawyer. Yeah, yeah, you just don't, it's a crap shoot up in that motherfucker. It, it's just how the most high feel that day. Yeah, really, the most high control everything. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because cause you can get the lawyer too, though, because they'll, they'll dick, they'll double dick you. Yeah. They'll give you a lawyer that you thought that he was cool, but he's best friends with the judge. You yeah. didn't even know that. He'll pay all this damn money and do all this stuff. fuck the judge. Yeah, he used to fucking suck. Yeah, he used to fuck the judge. Just like Richard Pryor and Marlon Brando. That's why they said, what's the difference between a good lawyer and a great lawyer? A good lawyer know the laws, a great lawyer know the judge, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best That's the best line ever, yeah. Hey, yeah. you know what? My lawyer, the last lawyer I got, you know, my lawyer actually told me that. He's like, this is how, this, this is how he said the court system really works. He's like, look, he's like the prosecutor. He's been running for judge. I've been doing a lot of campaigning for him. He owes me a few favors. And that, he said that's how it really works. That's how it is. Like the public, like your lawyer Tom and the other guy, like Tom Petty did. All right, boom. Yeah, Tom, that's my man. We'll let him slide this time, but next time you gotta feel me. That's how it works, though. Yeah, it is how it works. Scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yep, yeah, that's how it works. Here we go. Let me read the my, oh yeah, because the lawyers don't really the good ones don't even really know the law like that. And the funniest thing, it's against the law what they doing now because. Really, you're not allowed to, uh, you know how they feel like, oh, you take this deal? You ain't supposed to be making no deal. Yep, there ain't supposed to be no deal. That's, supposed that's against the... It's so supposed to be a trial for everything. Yeah. It's supposed to have a trial. If it, there is no trials. It's all plea bargains. Yeah, that's a bargain. It, man, man, obviously, fuck the I know. <laughs> Let's go. I know you got to get that scripture. Uh, this is Baruch 3 of 7. And for this cause, thou hast put the fear, thy fear in our hearts, to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquities of our forefathers Ooh. that sinned before thee. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a crime and a curse. I said a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. Oh, we are definitely subject. Everything you do in this country, you subject to payments. It's like the like down the Goodfellas. Fuck you, pay me. Yeah. Fuck you, pay me. That, that's the motto of them. That's how America operates. Fuck you, pay me. They don't give a fuck. They don't, they don't give a fuck about your children, your little little babies. Fuck you, pay me. They don't care if you can't eat. Fuck you, pay me. It's a wicked ass country. And you know how much rent, rent. If you want to get. 
like just live in a halfway decent neighborhood, rents at least 800 a month. What? Ain't it? But that's cheap, ain't it? 800 a month cheap? I mean, if you think you're gonna get 500 a month, you're gonna be living in the uh, living in the rat nest for sure. So who the hell? Most people who don't even make. How, how much the average person make an hour? Probably about ten dollars an hour. Eight eight dollars an hour. I got a retarded ass wife. She comfortable living with eleven, twelve hundred. Who? She loves. That's just expensive. A month. Damn. A month. What's that? What's that hour? And y'all ain't living in no mansion either. And that's still expensive right, as fuck. Right, right. You know? That, that, that was before. I think somebody that was before. Oh, okay. You know, probably living like that now. That's some retarded ass shit. I mean, I just said, that's be, but they think that, they say that's a low rent, a thousand a month. Yeah, yeah, They'll say that's low. Yeah, yeah, because I know motherfuckers paying 25 to 3. Yeah, because German Village prices is somewhere like, yeah, 3,000 a month. It's ridiculous. This is like the reality. Yeah, you can't even afford to live out here, man. And it's designed like that on purpose that you, to make sure you can't live. It's all designed to keep your ass down. They keep a, a, a boot right in, on your fucking head, pushing your ass down. So look over right there. Going for something? Yeah. Oh, that shit. What? Gotcha. <laughs> You'd be ready to see this place destroyed. Yeah, this, you can see it's about to go down. It's, it's out of there. You can just look at the people The people telling you it's about to go down. Looking at their countenance on their faces, their expressions. These people look like they're ready to die. Are you not entertained? Oh yeah, are you not entertained? <laughs> yeah, you know that's what this country's all about being entertained. Though. I didn't claim it. If you want them ancient spirits of evil in your house, go ahead. You can have it. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just fucking with you. That's some ancient spirits of evil. That reminds me of the time where Abraham beat the shit out of that Elamite king. Man, he probably beat the hell out of him and took their women. It's Proverbs 22. I'm skipping around. It's uh, Proverbs 22 and uh, uh, 8. Like, that's the best script. That's the best song right here. It's like a 7. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. Now let's get to uh, verse 2. Yeah, the rich rules over the poor. That's what you got out here. We're the, the, we're the poor. The few, the few rule the many. You, many you would think the many would rule the few, but the least of them rules over us. That's why the scripture says, "This the man that you know made the earth to shake and to you no." Know. Subject to the that motherfucker can raise the rent if he wants. You ain't got no choice unless you go the fuck out. Yep. You know, raise the rent, you know. And then when you finally move out, they'll uh. They'll do all kind of bullshit and get you on the lease. Oh, you broke this and uh, you messed up the wall and. It's gonna be hard for you to find another. Place. It did, yeah, then they're gonna sue you and shit. Yeah, they, they, they're like, if you try to get an apartment or something, they're like, well, we really don't know because uh, you don't have no kind of uh, history. They, history. I'm like, well, it's my first time. How the fuck can I have history if you're not gonna give me a house? Or they'll be like, you don't have credit. Yeah. Like, fuck, I got no credit. I don't have a bank account. Fuck a bank account. Fuck a. Fuck. Just were 18, 19 years old, like you're in your case. You want a, you want a nice car, you know. But you got to go if you want a car from the devils. You gonna get one, but you are gonna pay yeah. high ass interest, you know. I interest. remember back in the day when I was 18 okay. years old, they had a, a, a first time buyer program which they eliminated that shit. Oh yeah, because uh, they was helping brothers out. Yeah, they eliminated that shit. Oh shit! But you think everybody that owns these cars, they don't own their cars. The bank owns it. And like you said, they charge interest. And interest is against the laws of the Bible. It, it takes you several years just to pay the interest before you even start paying for the car. She bow legged too. That's crazy. But who legged bitch? Uh, they they yeah, into that scam. Yeah, shit on me, shit on me. It's like, you know what, the fuck he saw here, he, this is his kingdom. The bitches gonna go after him, but it's the dumb bitches that wanna walk with him, looking at him like, with glee in her eyes and shit. Walking and shit. So back to progress. Like white man is a god. This white man is a goddamn uh, devil. It was 2007. Look, somebody shit him out. <laughs>
his shit. They, now they squeezed him out of their fucking pus filled sword. <laughs> It's Proverbs 22 and 22. It says, Rob not the poor because he is poor. Neither neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. For Yahweh will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoil them. Right, this devil came in America and said, peace, we're Christians. God fearing, we're God fearing nation. We come in the name of Jesus. So the most high is holding to these laws. Uh -huh. See that? He took them on, so the curse is gonna come on his own. The taxes are crazy as hell. The taxes are crazy It's ridiculous. And then you got motherfuckers, like your boy Trump said he want to lower some taxes. And people was like, oh, why would you do it? What do you mean? They complaining because they going to get paid less taxes. Like, you fucking stupid. That's gonna make sense. He's lowering taxes, but they get with the interest going on. Oh, see that? Yeah, that's yeah. That's that, 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 that's fucking uh. That's suicide. Look at look at look at that Edomite. <laughs> you big fucking. You probably got a butt plug in. Yeah. That's the goat right there. That's the three horned demon of Edom. Yeah, a goat. Yeah, yeah, a goat. Goat. That's vocabs, people. Vocabs of goats. He's the greatest of all time. Vocab is the goat. He's the, the greatest of all time is scoffing. I don't know if he's even the best scoffer, actually. He's up there, though. Who's better than go vocab? Oh, no, no, yeah. Vocab, no, you like, wait, yeah, Yakko got, got you beat. Yakko Wacko got you beat. I can I gave, get a title for that one. Yakko? I mean, but the Lord using him, too, to do something, you know? The most high set people up that uh, do, do is, he got some kind of, yeah, he got a reason. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how you can see that. You Because know? we need these scoffers, actually. <laughs> yeah, the scoffers is part of the teaching the truth. I really don't know. Yeah, the, the, the scoffers help edify, actually. You know, when the scoffers come out talking shit, you know, saying we're wrong, and, and then that proof makes us prove them wrong, you know? We we'll go to the scriptures and prove them wrong. We'll be like, oh, see, no, you look stupid now, don't you? Yeah. Ooh, that guy cold as fuck out here. Cold as fuck. Yeah, what happened? We came out here. It was like we thought it was springtime earlier. Boy, I, can, I was not prepared. Scripture I wanted to get earlier though. Y'all see that commercial talking about volunteering and shit helping the need. It was like uh this cost a season in it, the need ain't in it, something like that. It was a commercial talking about volunteering helping the poor. Uh, uh, at the end of the commercial they got a they got a the room is empty, a few people sitting down eating, but they got dude dressed up like he a Jew and shit, getting handouts. Uh, I saw it was a so little subliminal messaging boy. A dude dressed as a fucking rat Jew. They always, like they always want to make you feel. And he's the one, they're the ones that got the most money. Cheddar. They, try, they try to get they some, they cheddar. try to get more shekels out there. Yeah. Damn. These motherfuckers got bank, man. And you see them, they look filthy and foul, too. Nah, they, they drive the raggedy cars. Yep. You don't know. Yep. You see a, a car full of rabbis pull up somewhere, they pull up in a Toyota. You know what I mean? Where the fuck was I at, man? I can't remember where I was. They gonna pull up in There's a car load of them. Right down the street. In a regular old car, they ain't gonna be driving no bit here. They got all the shekels. They gonna keep all the shekels until uh, the Lord gives us the power to take them shekels. Then we gonna have all the shekels. Shekels. Yeah, that's the that's the Hebrew word. We gonna get them shekels. <laughs> we gonna have all the shekels. Oh, what's up, Lucy Lou, baby? Ooh. She looked like an anime girl. What's up, baby? She She was cold. What? Yeah. She looked like she jumped straight out of anime. Damn, she was like one of the girls. You know what? How they girls with the guns in the anime and stuff? Yeah, so they wearing some tight ass uh, shit. Fine as hell too. <laughs> oh yeah, the anime breast boy. Oh, there's some movie coming out where they got it. Look creepy as hell. Uh, they doing some old anime. I forget which one. 
It's done by Robert Rodriguez in that the main character in the movie got some big ass anime eyes. But it's a real movie. But they did the effect so that the girl in the movie had giant eyes. They look kind of creepy actually. I mean, that's what's taking over is the anime though. Shit, you know, there ain't shit being no good shit coming out of America. Don't know we don't watch no Holly weird movies. All that fucking weirdo shit. Don't know we want to see that, man. People are tired of your transsexual. Maybe they made. Maybe they love it. I don't know. Cartoon Network at night. Yeah. This shit called. Yeah, don't smile. Yeah. I walked in there. It was a show called uh, Chicken Little or something. Robot, Robot Chicken. Chicken. I'm looking at the shit and it was like hella gay shit. Oh, that's. that's oh, wow. Robot Chicken's gay as fuck. That's because it's made by that Jew, uh, Seth Green. Okay, go, go back to the fake Jews again. Fucking facts. And then another show came on some alien shit, whatever. They do this shit. They do this shit with me too. Like, that's all that American produced shit. It's all gay as fuck. But you go. You ain't gonna see all that faggot shit in no anime. It might be not even really though. It's usually heterosexual relationship. The only thing they do really is like dress up women. It's the only thing I see. Them oh, they do. Yeah, they kind of look feminine. Uh, all the Americans is all a bunch of faggot shit, man. Everything is all degenerate. Oh, you like that new Teen Titans cartoon? Teen Titans Go. Y'all watch that? Dude, I told my no, man. That shit make kids act like fucking retards. Oh yeah. yeah. See, the old Teen Titans had like. Good stories with like a moral to the fucking story, you know, like an actual Teen Titans Go is just nothing but non-stop degenerate. I mean, it's funny. Oh, I can't remember. But you know what I mean? It's just like, the shit's just getting more degenerate. It's like, what the fuck? You know how the old car superhero cartoon should have like a moral in each story, a lesson to be learned or something? You know what I mean? Like on G.I. the end of every G.I. Joe episode. They be like, and knowing is half the battle. Now they ain't gonna teach you shit. You ain't know nothing no more. Now you're gonna know how to be a transsexual and be a faggot. That's what they want you to know. You know what I mean? It's all faggot ass country. Y'all ready to get it? You gonna get that field? We got more scriptures and last words. Death to America! Whoa, to whoa. America, baby. Whoa, there, there, buddy. <laughs> Sound like Al Qaeda. It's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me get. I'll, I'll end it on that because actually, that's scripture. That's in the scripture. That's in the Bible. You know how they do it. I, I, I got throat, man. I was not ready for this. Amos nine and nine. The weather will trick you, man. Columbus. Right here, tricky. Yeah, the down. This right here, bro. It's like a wind tunnel. Y'all Israelites. There are those in Israel that are not Israel. Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon this sinful kingdom. This is the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it off the face of the earth. Saving, I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. That verse right there is, is cutting two things. It's telling you America's going to destroy it. It's telling you ain't going to be no, ain't no fucking hell. And it's pretty much telling you too that he ain't going to utterly destroy Jacob. What does that mean? That means a whole lot of Jacob is getting destroyed. Two-thirds of Israel going to be destroyed. So then the motherfuckers go, oh, oh, Israel got, uh, they got, what they say, oh, Israel got, uh, there is no more Israelites. Uh, oh, yeah, he said I will uh, not utterly destroy it. But other motherfuckers well, go, I know oh, they, there ain't no, right. no Israelites. All the they Israelites say, are like, dead. The Israelites are done away with. All the characters in the Bible is done away with. I guess the Bible's done away with. <laughs> I guess no, I guess we ain't supposed to follow, because the Bible said Israel on every page almost. Is that your boy? <laughs> oh, he's he fucked up. Yeah, vocab Malone, y'all just. Up. Yeah. Man, he fucked up. He, was, he probably scoffing. Yeah, he fucked up. He probably just wants some purposes. Like, oh, yeah. He, he got his game down. Like, he's got a phone in public. They give you all the perks. <laughs> Mama do that. Mama good at that. Now, Man, hey, now look. Now, we would have went over there and helped him, bro. We would have had a goddamn. Rivers of bodies. We would have had rivers of, do the same thing that you for going to have us We would have had fucking everybody want to follow us and like, oh, they're great guys. And I mean, the spirit will let you know when it's time to help somebody. Yeah, you know. Because uh, yeah, the spirit. Yeah, but you can follow, the spirit tells you what to do. Yeah. You just follow the spirit on everything. But sometimes the spirit tells you, man, you can't help him. You like, yeah. you, you just can't fight the spirit. 
When you like, like when you get that bad feeling, you're around a, 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 a evil demon, a person. And you're like, man, I got a bad feeling about this guy. I think it's time to go. Yeah. And if you don't, you know, when you leave, that somebody end up getting shot, something horribly, you know, go wrong. That's why you gotta listen to the spirit. A lot of y'all can't listen to the spirit. The spirit ain't even talking to you. <laughs> Given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom. That's oh yeah. Not I, it was not given to everybody. It, oh, why would he do that? Why would he not give it to everybody? What then? What time is it? I just uh, want to know because what the four forty seven. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, we better wrap it up then. Alright, so we're gonna bid y'all peace, farewell, shalom. All praises to your how about some your shy. That was good. How you doing? You know that it, the end of the world as you know it is coming soon. That fire is about to come from the heaven. It's gonna burn all this shit up out here. All these buildings gonna get turned into a pile of ashes. Oh, what does the scripture say? All the whoremongers, the liars, the uh, idolaters, the adulterers. They all gonna burn. Y'all gonna burn. worshipers. Oh, devil worship. Pagans, lesbians. Pagans, pagans wicked. Vicious whores. Trannies. Christ was a black man. Oh. I wonder if we uh, make this motherfucker black. All right, so. Shallow up. Yeah, if you make him black, they're like, why is Jesus 